everybody, it's Joseph Shepard. I am live from DragCon 2022, and we have a very special guest with us right now. It is Mystique Summer. Yes, welcome to the Crossdresser Convention. Oh, the Crossdressing Convention. <laughs> it's the Crossdressers. Which number is this for you, convention wise? Three. Three. I think. I drink, so, so I say three. Yeah, I'll yeah, go gonna, with three too. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, I think that it's so cool because you, I, I was so captivated when we had our interview over Zoom. You are the most hilarious person. I want you back on an all-star season so freaking bad. Would you do it? Well, if you have connections to let them call me, then sure. If they don't call me, then I'm just doing makeup in my kitchen while cooking chicken and relaxing. Yeah, and see, you could be doing makeup in the workroom and eating chicken. No, because they starve us to death. What was the worst meal you had on set? Oh, I don't eat El Pollo Loco. That shit's fucking gross. It is fucking nasty. I would never, ever eat it. Unless you sponsor me, then I can fake it with some churches or something. But I would never do El Pollo <laughs> Loco. They fed us us one day, three, one day, three times, and I was like, I'm not eating this. They fed you El Pollo Loco three times in a day? Yes. I wasn't eating it. And I was like, I'll just starve to death. I wouldn't either. They probably It probably was bought the day before, and they tried to cycle it out. Or bought later on that, you know, that yeah. late night evening. Nope. Dumpster diving. I hear nope. that's popular. <laughs> what is your favorite part about being around the fans? and being in this convention center with so the, many different people. Well, the best thing about being being by all these fans and everything is smiling because half of them are fake friends. Uh -huh. They're keyboard warrior from Reddit. So, you know, there's a couple of them be like, oh my God, oh my God, I love you. I'm your biggest fan. Then 20 minutes later, you get on Reddit. That bitch did not say hi to me <gasps> and all this shit. And I'll just be like, hey, bitch, I don't fuck with y'all. Uh -uh. That's the best thing about it. You get all, all these people that claim they're super duper fans super and fans. everything, but they're just keyboard warriors. Yeah. And they want, they love the little, they love flaring it up. Oh, yeah. I, I, I had somebody earlier, they were, they're like, asking me questions. They're like, so who are you friends with on the show? I'm like, well, I'm friends, I'm cordial with everybody. No, who do you don't like? I'm cordial with everybody. No, no, just tell me who you don't like. Who, you know, it's your sisterhood. Why do, they cordial need, with why do you everybody. need to tell them who you don't like? Because so they can go on Twitter or the Facebooks or the Ticker Talkers, since I'm old, the Ticker Talkers, <laughs> the and, ticker start, talkers. and start fucking drama. Uh -uh. That's all they're trying to do. They're, they just start drama. And some of these weak-minded girls, well, I ain't going to say weak-minded girls, these, these new girls, they don't understand. Once you get into an argument online with your fans or anybody, they know how to trigger you, so they're going to continue to harass you. Me, I just laugh it off. <laughs> Because I drink. <laughs> Our favorite part about the con has been seeing all of the sexy men walk by. I've seen. Because you're a hoe. There, there's a booth that someone told me that they're selling poppers. You might want to go over there. Look at You know look, what? Look, I look, probably look, oh, oh, need oh. to find the poppers booth, to be honest over with you. Over there, excited. Um, I, I haven't found it unless it's at the Nasty Pig booth over there. But, but one, one of my friends said, yeah, what they said was, you get you dab some poppers behind the ear and on the chest, and I was like, "For what? So you could be just walk around like, oh, <laughs> bitch." I'm like, "No, man, no, man." I, you know, I'm not down with 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 those type of illegal activities. I'm a god yeah. Christian white woman from yes. Willacoochee, Georgia. I don't do those things often. Mm -hmm. Often, see, I always wonder, like, would they ever make a popper like incense? So then you like put it in like. It, it fumigates through a room. I think that that would be... You could probably just buy, open up a thing of poppers and just put the incense in it. Almost <laughs> like like the Joe Malone sticks. Just stick them in there and then when you walk around, just be like, well, I'm loose. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of loose, this is a very loose hole. And you're going to oh. stick your hand in this and draw out a question and answer the question. How wretched are these questions? Well, you draw and figure it out. Hopefully it's a good one. Hopefully it's not. Hopefully it's something easy. This is a horrible question. What is the question? I should just reach in for another one. Yeah, reach in for another one. Because this is... 
I'll, let, I'll let you read it. The worst moment from your season. It, it, that's horrible. What's the worst moment from your season? No, that's, it's stupid. It's not a worst moment. I don't believe in worst moments. Mm -hmm. A lot of a lot, a lot of people are like, oh my God, if you could go back in time, can you change anything you do? No, I live with no regrets. What I did back then is what I did. I would, I would redo it again because it makes me who I am now. So I never had a, had, had a worst moment. All right, so let's let me do another one. Yeah, because Her I worst was, moment was the El Pollo Loco. Girl. Yeah. This is stupid too, bitch. <laughs> was there any... Everybody's outfit... Okay, so the question was ugly outfits from my season. All of them? Ah! Bitch. <laughs> we, we were recording back in the dark ages. Girl, everything. You look, you'd be like... Okay. Nowadays, y'all would be like, yes. what type of uh, thrift store drag race is this? Looking looking at, like, your season to now, what would you say the budget different is when it comes to the outfits that the girls are bringing? Um, it seems like if you don't have no money, don't try out for drag race. That's what it, what it seems, because they always claim that it's not about money, it's not about this. But if I come out in a $10 outfit and some girl come out fully rhinestone, you're going to judge that fully rhinestone person more because it's like, oh, it's shiny and it's pretty and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. So so with that, it's it's cr it's crazy. It's crazy. If you don't have no money, don't try for Drag Race. That's what is kind of hinted because everybody, no one should go on Drag Race completely polished looking. Mm -hmm. You have to go on there to, you know, it's a contest to improve. If you're already the best of your game, hey, you shouldn't be doing drag anymore if you already know what you're doing. But you can't just go and be like, oh, I'm polished, 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 because polish and equals then, boring. It's not. It's all about the growth. That is smart. So what you're saying is that, Queens, if you are auditioning for Drag Race, be shit the first couple of weeks. No, and don't be. No, don't be shit for the first <laughs> couple of weeks. You you don't show them all your power. Like like like, like hell, I tried out for that TV show. Nell did. Tried out for. I made it to, to the last round. I didn't. I, I didn't get on. I'm a great cook. I can do all this stuff. But when I had to dumb down what the fuck I was doing, like, Jesus. You're like, Girl, why no. don't he have on uh, underwear? What? Why don't he have on underwear? Look right here. Girl. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I should never be on camera. <laughs> you clocked that, right? <laughs> I did. <laughs> Mystique, what is down the pipeline for you coming up? Oh, that's where, a perfect where, one. The pipeline. Where the pipeline? <laughs> what's what's coming down this pipeline for you? Well, Daisy Duke's safe for everybody. And if, if you're watching this, you may know who I'm talking about, but Daisy Duke's are not for everybody. No, down, down the pipeline, it's just work. All I do is work. I'm all about my skincare and all about my makeup. I'm getting, I'm getting back doing more tutorials for all this bullshit. It, that's, that's what it's all about, just staying happy and being true to myself. True that's to the key. Yes. And where can people find you on all the social? You can find me on, well, no, no, I'm, I'm kind of dating somebody, so I ain't on them, them other websites <laughs> no more. But no, if you just Google search Mystique Summers, not Mystique Summers Madison, just Mystique Summers, you'll find, uh, you'll find me on the Ticker Talkers. The Instagrams, the Snapchats, you know, YouTube, all them other places. You may also find me on Craigslist.org if that was still around. <laughs> oh, I miss Miss Connections. Did you ever read Miss Connections? <laughs> Those are the funniest things ever. I was at the grocery store and you was in front of me picking up a thing of oats. <laughs> I thought she was sexy and hot. Girl, why is he still standing here in these daisy dudes? Over here picking up a thing of oats. Hi, what are you looking for? A can of Vienna sausages? I would always look and I'd be like, okay, one has to be about me. There has to be one. There never was. But well, we should go to the Snazzy Pig booth to find some poppers. Yeah, I think that that's what we're yeah. gonna do now. Um, I'm not Joseph me. Shepherd. That's Mystique Summers. <laughs> we're gonna go to the Nasty Pig poppers booth and I'm we're not, gonna wear some I'm Daisy not. Dukes. Until next time, I'll see <laughs> you guys. We're gonna go to the poppers booth. Bye.